So I started working with AWS in 2015, and my focus was on remote access to workstations that over time uh, turned into remote production. So this is very relevant to Project Lederhosen and the six different projects that are shot around the globe. I've been focused on Mexico City with Sandra Da Silva, who's the cinematographer and producer. She has a local production team she coordinates there in Mexico City. We have a visual effects artist that is in Bozeman, Montana. Post-production is happening out of Los Angeles and sound editing and mixing is uh, being run out of San Francisco. So, you know, the challenge here is making these remote cloud workflows feel as native as possible and not losing anything through the creative process. There's large video assets in 4K, there's sound. Uh, there's a whole, whole bunch of different assets here we have to worry about um, and coordinate uh, just between the teams. And that's where someone like Fifth Kind comes along. Uh, they have a production asset management system called Core. And through Core, we can take all of these different assets and manage them in a singular location. Being on-prem and shooting 4K video is um, they had to get that video into the cloud and into S3, which is our object storage. And so they used Aspera integrated into their system on premises. You know, there's a number of different assets when you look at visual effects uh, in here. And when you think about just these assets, you might want to move them around to different people in the globe or even to different facilities. So if you think about that interoperability in the exchange, it's kind of the heart of this producing content. And that's where the, a group uh, in cooperation with Movie Labs, the ETC Adaptive Production Group, came up with this naming spec. Hey, here's this group of shots that involve smoke. Or, you know, here's this group where someone's shown on a laptop. The Movie Labs VFX image sequence naming is so you can easily, you know, share with someone uh, the, these visual effects image sequences. So that brings me to you know, we've got these creatives, uh, they're geographically dispersed, but all the content's in the cloud. Like, how do they get access to their tools and the things they're familiar with? Uh, and that's where Arch Platform comes in. Arch allows our customers to spin up really powerful content creation facilities on top of AWS Cloud in under an hour. This enables studios, productions, post facilities, or just existing VFX companies to leverage talent from across the world at any scale. We've seen this used on several productions already, where they've saved over 60% of their VFX budget by using our platform on AWS cloud infrastructure. So one of the interesting things about like platforms like Arch is that they start to sort of dissolve the need for certain aspects of IT and sysadmin. You know, by by integrating things like shotgun and deadline nodes and having that automatically built into the back end and into the system, you know, it, it lets me not spend time being a TD and more time being a creative and working with clients and working with artists. You know, it's it's really big to start to take some of the technical things away and just let us do the work. We also developed Deadline, a render scheduler that has been used to manage render farms of all sizes since uh, 2004. Deadline can be used to control compute resources both on premises or in the cloud and in hybrid deployments and uh, supports about 90 applications out of the box, including all the major 3D and uh, post-processing applications. When you think about getting access to your remote workstations, you know, the thing we hear from creatives is like, they want something that's very performant. They don't want, you know, to be put in front of a remote workstation, move their, you know, they call jog and shuttle with editing, but black magic resolve or something. And they don't want that to feel like that machine is very far away. And that's where Teradici and their PC over IP protocol has been great. Like uh, it's secure, it allows them to only stream the pixels from that actual workstation. You can't, you can't download any of the content or any other data. That's where the combination of like Teradici and our new G4 G GPU instances are, are just great for creatives. You know, the, the other nice thing about Arch Platform is when you think about spinning up this production shoot, um, you don't have this huge outlay of capital. So, you know, we've got all these assets, we've got all these people working together across the globe, 
and we have things like 4K assets and sound and visual effects plates and things, and they take up a lot of storage. In AWS, we have a number of different offerings, right? Our S3 object storage is kind of hands down in media and entertainment, the place where people send their assets first. Also for long-term storage, if you need to archive it in Glacier or, or uh, move it through different, uh, less expensive tiers. If you need a larger pool of storage that everyone can sort of share, or you can get uh, multiple workstations to attach to, you really want some managed high performance uh, file system. AWS has created something called FSX, and it's really, you know, you spin up a this shared pool of storage as big as you want it to be. Uh, FSX for Lustre, you can be S3 backed. For this Lederhosen project, we spun up like two gigabytes per second in terms of, you know, throughput to the storage. And that just goes back to, again, I'm, I'm a user, I want, I want a low latency protocol like Teradici, but then when I'm actually on the machine and working, I want something like FSX with this very high throughput that it feels like a really good experience. I, I'm just doing my work as creative. We've been doing a lot of work over the years with companies like the Arch Platforms, Blackmagic, Resolve, the Foundries Nuke, Thinkbox, and Deadline. We're just here to unlock that creativity and allow people to seamlessly connect and really focus on their creative work, all the while like elevating their security of these systems.